Let's turn to Donald Trump's populism for a moment. Of course, that populism is bragging about how he eats at McDonald's, um, which may be the case, but it's also um, just a function of him just looking at food as some way of like, I just got to keep going. For a long time, she's been talking about her experience at McDonald's. I worked at McDonald's over the French fries. It was so hot. I think I'm going to go to a McDonald's next week someplace. I'm going to go. might not be in your, in your place. It, I'm going to go to a McDonald's, and I'm going to work the French fry job for about a half an hour. I want to see how it is. But she said she worked and she grew up in terrible conditions. She worked at McDonald's. It was such. She never worked there. Is Harris I, making a big deal of working at McDonald's? I, uh, they're making a big deal out of the idea that she might be lying about it. I think she probably did work uh, the McDonald's fry station for a little bit. But I can guarantee one thing is Donald Trump will not uh, actually be manning the fry station uh, for a whole half hour. I would love to see that. I think it'd be maybe the I may walk thing. through a McDonald's. Donald may Trump through it. looking up at the order screen and trying to look at all the orders and count just the fries that he has to prepare for the orders and then people getting mad when the fries are late would be the funniest thing i think i could possibly imagine um and i would love to see him do it yeah i find it hard to believe hi folks hey you've heard me criticize how the mainstream media across the political spectrum either fails to report on important stories or prioritizes their own bias over balanced and comprehensive news coverage well that's why I use Ground News as a solution on a daily basis. Longtime sponsors gather related news and add important context so you can understand how each outlet reports on it and maybe sometimes skews the facts. This and being so close to the presidential election, you're going to see rhetoric against uh, Harris and Tim Walls is only going to intensify. So I can't recommend enough that you check out Ground News's election page. My Vantage plan gets me access to their election-focused blind spot feed and diverse perspectives on each candidate so I can find the truth on who they really are, not just hear the loudest, most biased opinions. And areas where, frankly, the left or the right is not covering. For each story you read on their platform, you're going to find article Ground News found reporting on it, as well as tags to the next source indicating if they're independently owned or not, how credible their reporting is, and if they have any political bias one way or another, making it really easy to critically analyze different perspectives and come to your own conclusions. Their mission aligns so much with what we try to do on this show. We try and make you more media literate. So I can't recommend enough going to ground.news slash majority or scanning my QR code to subscribe. Ground News is independent and subscriber supported. My viewers, however, will save 40% on the same vantage plan that I use for unlimited access to all their features on a daily basis.